Hello my good people, welcome back. For today is another day. So today I'm going to tell you top five diseases that you have to prevent, either preventing how or how to identify disease when it affects your sheep. So that uh, actually we embrace this something like uh, sheep farming. Yeah. So I'm going to tell you how to identify them, how to prevent them, how to treat them and how to diagnose them yeah so with me here i'm going to tell you all those about the diseases then if you are a farmer or vet student or a veterinarian or any other person who is curious to know something about uh sheep diseases stay put watch till the end and apart from the top five diseases i'll go ahead and classify some other diseases basically viral diseases bacterial diseases uh, and other diseases but like metabolic diseases that can affect your sheep let's proceed with this topic for today so that you can really appreciate remember i'm here benchmarking and when i'm in benchmarking i'll make sure that you people get equipped with everything about dopa sheep everything about uh, livestock farming remember i gave you a script on how to actually what is dopa sheep's how to feed them and the entire thing yeah just view the previous script you'll see all that thing yeah? now i'm going now to tell you about diseases and i'm going categorical and uh, actually i'll be doing it step by step from the causal agent to the treatment and the entire thing yeah like you can see on my background i have sheep here let me show you the sheep as we talk so this is the sheep that i'm talking about and when i tell you that i'm going to dive into top five most common diseases in sheep yeah what causes them how to identify them and most importantly how to prevent them yeah you can see like this sheep is not uh, okay i can't talk anything about that the first disease that i'm going to talk about is a disease called actually that uh foot rot yeah foot rot affects the hooves yeah these are the hooves the feet of the of the sheep yeah? those are the hooves and uh, when I say about foot rot, eh, it shows images actually you can see sheep limping and the entire thing. Eh? These are bacterial infections that affect the hooves. Then it, it causes lameness and you can hear some smell from that and it can be swollen. About the, these are uh, these, uh, actually the foot rot. Eh? It affects the hooves in between here. After affecting, you can see your, your sheep is walking as if it is limping. Yeah? And apart from limping, you can hear some when you maybe you want to you catch that place you can hear some uh, foil smell with your nose so yeah and more specifically that kind of a disease is caused by maybe some um, hardy surfaces some stones on the compound some muddy uh, muddy places where the sheep dump its foot there then it results to that yeah that's all about the that all oh, oh, about treatment yeah what you do about treatment you just inject the animal with anti antibiotic and also you do what we call symptomatic treatment where you treat for injury of the hooves where you can put something like a copper sulfate so that that hooves can heal yeah? and that's it about foot rot so i want to show you another disease about i'm going to talk about another disease that we call actually the internal uh, internal parasite yeah internal parasite actually especially the deadly which we call the bo baba pole worm yeah when i was doing some uh, vaccination i just uh, talked about something called hemonchus yeah hemonchus that is a parasitic disease that is called by worm and we call that uh, some people call it bottle jaw where you see it here yeah the chin of your sheep is very swollen. Let me just show you a chin, a chin of the sheep. See the chin of the, you see like that, uh, the brown part, then be, be below the jaw, eh? it was swollen. Eh? So for this, uh, this type of worm, eh? it sucks blood from the stomach lining, causing anemia and weakness. Yeah, And when you see the eyes, eh? eyes can even be pale eyelid and swollen under the jaw. What I was talking about, bottle jaw, then weight loss and diarrhea. So when I'm, remember I was saying that uh, Imonkas is one of the most deadly disease of this uh, kind of worm. Once the sheep is swollen here, controlling it is very hard. Huh? And so what I can tell you, make sure for controlling this type of nani, 
of the seas, make sure you deworm your sheep very well and especially use some dewormers like uh, Duotech from a class of Clozantel and apart from that even you can use something like uh, Ivermectin to control that, that kind of uh, disease yeah you can use Ivermectin and the entire thing yeah that's it about uh, Himonkas I was talking about Himonkas another disease that I'm going to talk about is Paste des Petite in abbreviation eh? we call it PPR yeah yeah, I can just describe something about the PPR disease. Mostly the PPR disease, it affects this kind of uh, sheep. Yeah, where actually this is a highly contagious viral disease and it spreads quickly and can cause huge economic losses. Yeah, so for this, each symptoms, one of it is fever. That means the temperatures will be high. When you look at their eyes, uh, eyes you can see that the eyes are watery and you can have some uh, actually some you can see some uh, coughing that means it affects the respiratory the respiratory and about coughing it can even be something like a pneumonia then you see here in the in actually here near the anal it it has soiled itself that means it is diarrhea when you see those signs eh, those those signs in your sheep yeah just know that these eh, that is PR. So the only way of preventing this PPR is through vaccination. Nothing else. Make sure you vaccinate your sheep. Make sure everything uh, you have vaccinated. Remember I told you I have a script of vaccination schedule of sheep. Where I recommended some vaccines that you should do and the entire thing. So we are going to the next disease. The next disease I'm going to talk about the enterotoxemia. Remember, I have a script of enterotoxemia where I was vaccinating some uh, some sheep in some farm. So for enterotoxemia, you that is uh, caused by bacterial infection. That is a killer disease, and it is being triggered when somebody is changing feed, especially from the roughages to the concentrator. Through that transition, yeah, you get that uh, it, it, it can it can trigger that enterotoxemia, so that that means that you can even get a lot of losses. Yeah, where you just see some uh, nervous sign in your sheep, you see nervous sign. You know what I mean by nervous sign, and maybe convulsion. Yeah, those are the symptoms of this. Uh, before postmortem, uh, postmortem you can maybe see, see something like. Uh, the kidney, the way the appearance of the kidney can, it, we call it pulp, pulpy kidney, yeah? So you have to look at the kidney and the entire thing. So this kind of uh, heterotoxemia, it is caused by a bacteria, yeah? Which we call a uh, Clostridium bacteria, we have a uh, Clostridium pathogen, we have type A, B and the rest, yeah? Remember, I have a script of that, we vaccinated very well, and I elaborated about that, that disease. And its solution, armor prevention, you do what we call vaccination. Once you vaccinate your flock against that disease, you are good to go. So let me dive about another now disease. Yeah? So for this, another disease is called sheeppox. Yeah? Sheeppox is a viral contagious disease and it can be transmitted from one, from one uh, sheep to another, either direct contact or through feeds and water. So the symptoms of uh, sheeppox, yeah? you can see some, uh, actually you can have some, let me show you a sheep when you are this. So the symptoms of this, eh? you can just see some, uh, actually first it is associated with a fever because it's a viral infection. And apart from that, eh? you see some skin bumps. Yeah? You see like this skin, yeah? you can hear some bumps in the skin, which turn into scabs. Then you can see some uh, respiratory issues. Apart from the respiratory issues, you can, uh, apart from the respiratory issues, even the death cases are very, actually it has a lot of uh, death cases, yeah? So that's it about the top five diseases. So I'm going now to classes of diseases found in these sheep, yeah? I'll go specifically talk about viral infection, bacterial infection, metabolic infection, that uh, metabolic or nutritional infection. So, I'll start with viral infections. 
So the first viral infection is ORF, yeah, which we call uh, contagious. Act. For contagious eczema, you can see some uh, scabulation on the mouth. You see the, the mouth, what you can see some scabs on the mouth and teeth and the entire thing. Yeah, this this sheep here is bloated. Yeah? I have to call for help. Yeah? You see now it is bloated abortion or what? Yeah? You see now I'm talking about diseases. Now we have a case here. Sheep is struggling, lying down, waking up. So we have to uh, to help this kind of uh this kind of sheep. Yeah? Let me just call for somebody so that we can uh, proceed with our discussion yeah uh, ORF yeah so for ORF uh, I've just told you that uh, we look on the mouth you can see some uh, something on the mouth you can see some uh, some scabs Devi 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 ya kwa hapo Ebu mwambie akuje kidogo Devi ukimaliza ukuje Yeah I'm just calling for backup yeah? remember I told you yeah, I'm just inside here I'm seeing a sheep here is very you see I think it is it wants to give uh, it, yeah this is the sheep now here yeah we are here and things are happening here yeah hmm? we are here things are happening yeah we have to rescue these as I'm waiting for Devi we can the prevention of this ORF or uh, contagious eczema yeah when you see this size you just take a spray you spray the mouth and make sure you put something septic yeah? so that to affect to disinfect that mouth and actually everything will be back to more to normal the disease that i'm going to talk is about blue tongue eh? swelling of the face you see that this head is very swollen tank lameness and fever and it can be spread eh, by biting Midges, yeah, that is what causes that. Eh? Another thing I'm going to talk about parasitic, uh, uh, parasitic uh, disease. Where I'm going to talk about liver fluke, that is for fasciolosis, where it does what we call uh, weight loss and um, entire thing. Yeah, apart from uh, weight loss, you can see anemia, bodily jaw associated with met, wet, marshy grazing area. Another parasite is about ectoparasites. Yeah? Where you see, where we have um, flies, mites, yeah, fleas, mites, flies, and other ectoparasites. Remember these ectoparasites, huh? they suck, even ticks, eh? they suck blood from these sheep. And apart from that, they cause irritation. So feeding, your sheep won't feed well, so that is what we call about that. Now I'm going to handle about nutritional or oh, bacterial diseases. diseases huh? For bacterial diseases, I'm going to talk about anthrax. You know what anthrax means? It affects even the cattle. So for anthrax, yeah, it's when you see an animal that has a, you know, it is caused by, it is called uh, something like anthracis. Yeah? The causative quasi agent is something like anthracis. Yeah? So you can see blood coming from all the openings, from the nose, from the eyes, from the mouth, from the anal region. Yeah? When I do this, well, that means that the anal region. Yeah? That's, those are the symptoms of anthrax. And once you see a symptom like this, make sure you report to the relevant authority because that is not a something to joke with. Remember, it is a zoonotic disease. It catches both human and animals. So a condition like that, you have to you have to tell the relevant authority. Another one is brucellosis. Yeah? This is also is a zoonotic disease caused by bacteria, where we have brucella abortus, and it is this is a reproductive uh, infection. You can get, uh, especially for those who maybe handle animals without wearing protective gadgets. Yeah? Without wearing protective gadgets, you get that uh, you will be infected with that. Eh? Another thing is about, uh, another issue is about, uh, I was talking about uh, bacterial infection. There is something we call gaseous lymphadenitis, uh, where you see your, maybe your sheep can be swollen in the lymph node. Yeah? It can be swollen in the lymph node. Apart from the lymph node, even here near the surface, we call that one gaseous lymphadenitis huh? and for that one you have to take to the lab so that you identify if it is that case if it is that case you make sure it is treated well now i'm going to handle something about metabolic diseases one of the metabolic diseases that i'm going to talk about is uh, something like uh, remember when i talk about metabolic disease i'm talking about 
and uh, I'm talking about nutritional diseases. One of the nutritional diseases is the copper poisoning. Yeah, I told you what copper is not good to sheep. Yeah? Copper can be very poisonous. It causes what we call copper toxicity. For these uh, copper uh, toxicity, you can see one of the symptoms. It affects the liver, so liver damage. Yeah? Apart from the liver, you can see oh, some weird thing called jaundice. Yeah? Jaundice is the yellowing. Yeah? Oh, Devi, yeah, that is a uh, yellowing, yeah? yellowing of the mucous membrane. You can see uh, the, here up, it is yellow. Yeah, yeah, you the yellowing of the membrane. Yeah? Then another nutritional disease I'm talking about uh, pregnancy toxemia, especially for uh, twins, and another disease about uh, the, uh, another nutritional disease. Yeah? is about uh, let, let us help the sheep eh? yeah the sheep nini nafanyika inataka kuzaa eh yeah okay so inafaisaidia inasaidiwa eh sawa and ukuja na gloves to saidia the sheep that I was telling you here it was just uh, struggling it is now actually it wants to give birth eh remember it this is the first lambing yeah so it has to struggle very hard, yeah? So I was talking something, uh, okay, it has to struggle very hard. So I was talking about another disease that we call uh, white muscle disease. White muscle disease is caused by lack of vitamin A or what we call uh, selenium, yeah? Lack of uh, selenium, that is vitamin E in lungs, yeah? which causes a uh, muscle weakness and stiffness yeah when you see your uh, your sheep it just walking like somebody who's drunkard that just know it has that um, actually we call it white muscle disease so i'll wind up there because i have to help these uh, sheep giving birth i think i have a script of me helping a sheep giving birth eh? for to the, for this one i'm not going to show a video for that i'll just doing it do it privately then i help it because uh, some people have phobia for that eh? Uh, some people are very afraid eh, about uh, sheep giving up. Some people don't want to see blood. Yeah? So the way we do it for cattle. I have so many clips about cattle. The way we help that uh, dysoxia case. So like for this, uh, we are going to help it. Yeah? So let me wind it for now there. Then we can talk some other time. Make sure you watch other scripts that I've uh, made for you. So that we know everything about it. Remember to subscribe to Lumumba Junior. Thank you. Watch, 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 let us learn, and learn, learn, learn. Goodbye for now. Here's Mr. Kelvin. Go to other things. Thank you, guys. Goodbye.